that it has been one year since I played Destiny 2. Probably even longer than that. But today I'm going to play some PvP, talk about the game, talk about how life's been when I haven't been playing Destiny because life has been incredibly better. But let's get into some PvP um, and just do a live commentary while we talk. So yeah, let's do this. All right, first and foremost, I ran a couple of the new missions just to get to a point where I can actually get into Crucible. I'm using my old palindrome with Killing Wing Rapid, um, Rapid? Rampage. Peace of mind with the old, old roll on when the new, the new subclasses came out. Um, and I've got a linear on, but I don't even care because I'm never going to use heavy. Most of my stuff haven't got very good stats on or even very good mod mods on them. So it's just going to be what it is. Let's go. So why am I playing some Destiny 2? Well, like I said, I'm trying to get back into just getting used to YouTube again. And obviously a good point would be to come back and just see what Destiny's like. And we spoke about it in the state of the game, the other video that I made the other day. Um, and I just thought I'd try it out because one thing about this game, which has always been consistent and good, is the gunplay and how the guns feel to fire and just just general stuff like that so i thought you know come and come and check it out try it out and and just and just go 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 now i'm not going to be very good because i haven't played any first person shooter in over a year i probably probably even longer than that to be honest because i wasn't even well i wasn't playing pvp on destiny when i was still playing it so an actual competitive fps arena or game experience has been probably a year and a half for me so yeah i used to be pretty good as well using my hunter stasis dodge forward with the mask of bacris was it and using the chaperone man i had so much fun with that but we're gonna just we're gonna go today so why am i talking about destiny 2 um and how happy i've been since i've stopped playing it well i think and i think this is very real for a lot of people destiny 2 has a little bit of an addiction tied to it you don't really realize how miserable it makes you until you go cold turkey and just stop playing it. It's so strange and so surreal to talk about a video game in that way. But about a month after I stopped playing before, I felt immensely happier. I just I just wasn't stressed anymore. I wasn't miserable anymore. I wasn't like it, it affected my day to day life. Like I was happier talking to people better, being more social. You know, I wasn't like arguing or being snappy or being down on myself I, I was just happier and it was once i got that kind of destiny bug removed from my system i was just it was just incredible but i will say destiny 2 destiny will always be a huge part of my life it has to be right but i'm so happy that i don't have to rely on it anymore and i don't know how people do it these people who stream on twitch every week who do trials carries who play pvp like i don't know how you do it and you've definitely got a lot more patience than me you've definitely got a lot more determination than me because this game from what i can see and what i've heard hasn't changed at all since i left get the get the flag because you know we've got to play the points we've got to play the points oh we're gonna run straight into someone here now oh he's trying to throw some oh he's, he's got a stasis grenade no stasis still like this i'm guessing Oh my god, my accuracy, my 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 sensitivity feels weird. No, get off me, Stasis Grenade. I don't know how to fight you. Oh, my accuracy and sensitivity just feels so off and weird. Come on, come this way. Excuse me. I'm reloading too much. I'm reloading too much. But I'm invincible out. How did that not kill me? Oh god, there's a guy behind me. Oh, are we just... Are we, okay, just lagged then, I guess. Because his health came off like three minutes after I shot him. Please get out of my way. I'm already mad. I'm already angry. But oh my god. Look at that accuracy and that gun sticking to his head. Phenomenal gunplay. It, it, would ne it would never be anything I ever complain about when it comes to Destiny. Is the gunplay. Is there a guy here? What the hell's up there? Whoa, sugar! What was that? What exactly was that then? Just apparently could just... Was that like a... I don't even know. Okay, I'll just spawn straight into fighting someone. Good old Destiny spawns, eh? I feel anxious already. I feel angry and wound up. And I've been playing for like a, a solid, what? Two? Two seconds? 
two minutes. <laughs> Come on, where are ya? I'm gonna get... Oh god, that was a, a dodge and a half, that was. I mean, come on, come on, come on. That was just phenomenal from my um, pulse rifle. But I can already see that we are down. Still got it, baby, still got it. Oh, I don't even know if that's going to do anything, but we'll go anyway. There's a guy behind me. I'm not using the map properly. I need to run. Oh, there's a guy there. There's just a guy there. Need to use my map map a bit better. So yeah, one of one of the best decisions I ever made was just stop stop playing Destiny. But it's ironic because I do I do miss it in a way. They can't see me. They can't see me. Oh god. I'm just unstoppable. How how am I like this good at the game? I'm not actually doing anything though, like I'm not. Maybe I am doing something. I mean we're not capturing any points or actually winning the game, but it is what it is, I guess. What's the range on these little arc souls now? Because I, I swear it used to be further I used to be able to hit people from. I have no idea what Strand does for any character, so... I'll probably get caught by it a lot. Oh, I shouldn't have challenged that. I shouldn't have challenged that. That was just terrible by me. Oop, did not mean to do that. Oh, God. Where's he gone? Get out of here. Oh no! I feel wound up. I feel like I just wanna... I wanna fight people. I feel like I just wanna... Start screaming for no reason. I think I have trauma tied to this game. Like genuinely feel like I have trauma. How do I use my super? That was a bad decision. That was a bad choice. That was a bad choice. A very bad choice. You can tell how rusty I am, innit? I, don't, I genuinely didn't even know what... Because I've got my super set to one button on my controller and I couldn't remember what it was and then I found it. Oh my days, Drang. Drang is moving like that. That guy just sits so far back and just. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do love this game, the gunplay, but the way people play it is so infuriating as well at the same time. Why are you shooting at me for? Hello, there's going to be someone here. Don't worry, mate. I'll get to see while you just like run off. I hear you. I hear you. There you are. Zone A locked. It's a power play. Get those zones back. You captured zone C. Can can you kill him please, mate? Like I've just shot like a, a full clip into him and you're just standing by him. I didn't even see him in the shadows then. He was just he was just invisible in the wall. He was like Yeah guys, don't worry. Oh my god, that was perfectly timed. I really wanted to kill that kid. Who puts up a fucking barrier inside a inside a bubble? I mean, let's go. This pulse rifle is ridiculous. You do like the satisfaction from a kill on this game is unbelievable. Like I don't think there's anything that matches it. When you get like a solid couple of kills with some like drilled headshots, the way the gun feels and plays, I don't think there's any more satisfying you zone game mechanics in any game ever. I mean, I mean, look how quick that just snapped onto his head. I know the aim assist is a lot on this game, but it just feels so much better. 
than anything you play in in uh, FPS is all good. Where are you going, mate? Who do you think you are? We. I don't care if we lose. Oh, I'm so dead. I just want to kill that guy. I just want to kill that guy back there. He ran away from me. He ran away from me. But well, I'm second in my team, so I guess that's something. Are we playing like a full team or something? A couple of, a couple of guys, I think. Maybe a full team. Man, the, the, act, the sensitivity on my gun just feels so weird. I, I, I don't even know what just happened. I don't even know what that super was. He just come in like he was skipping on a skipping target. rope. Keep fighting. You'll get it. Uh, let's see what I got. Let's see what I got for my first game back over a year and probably... Uh, let's say a year and two months. Okay, so... Can I... You can't see Somaru. I got... 18 kills with a 1.5 KD. These people on my team should be absolutely embarrassed. Absolutely embarrassed by the fact that someone who hasn't played in over a year beat them in PvP. And that's it. You know, just a quick little video. I might play some more PvP, make some highlight compilation videos of me raging and stuff. Um, but for the most part, you know, like I said, Destiny 2 PvP is always going to feel good to play. Like, just the gun mechanics and the satisfaction of killing people, etc. Even when you're popping supers and abilities, even though they're like kind of ruin the game but they're also really really fun to play with i don't think there's any pvp experience in the world that is like destiny but it's terrible at the same time because they don't do any work on it they don't improve it they don't make it more interesting they don't make it more engaging so i can see that if you're playing it every single day you would end up absolutely hating it and i think that's where i was at with destiny i was hating the game because i was playing it every single day and I was just miserable. And then when I stopped playing and I started checking out other games and doing other things and living my life outside, something changed in me and I just felt so much more free and happy. And it's really strange to say that a game is kind of tying you down and making you feel that miserable on a day-to-day -day basis. But it's real. It's, it's definitely real. I think we're at, in a stage of life where people don't take games seriously enough, but they also take them too seriously. And it can really impact your mental health. It can really impact your day-to-day -day life. And, you know, if you get sucked into a game like Destiny, you're going to be stuck on it forever. And you're going to be miserable forever or for at least a very long period of time during your life. Bungie are never going to change it, they're never going to improve it, they're never going to really make it what it used to be in terms of everything to do with the game, not just PvP. Everything now just seems more over, over complex, just convoluted, just it, just, it just feels like a mess. It just feels like chaos, an overwhelming chaos, and there's nothing consistent or distinct about it that, that keeps you going. Well, nothing consistent that's healthy anyway. Like seasonal models and PvP, yeah, you can play them consistently, but they're not they're not interesting, they're not fun. Let me know what you think about Destiny 2 PvP or just Destiny 2 in general. How are you finding it? Are you sick of it? Are you happy with it? Do you enjoy it? Do you not? Why and why not? Let me know in the comments section. Let me know if you want to see some more. I'll record for like two hours and then just throw it all up in a compilation video. And yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.